Welcome back to Good Morning Colorado. It's 641 right now on this Monday morning. We were going to show you a view of what to expect as you head up toward the Mile High City. We have been seeing some reduced visibility up toward Monument into Castle Rock in Denver, so please do be careful. We're also seeing some reduced visibility in the far eastern plains. This is a glance at La Junta from our exclusive Vero Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network camera. A dense fog advisory continues until 10 o'clock for Denver and the surrounding areas. It serves as a reminder to really give yourself some extra time if you're traveling in that direction. Primarily quiet conditions for the lower elevations beyond those areas of clouds. Just to the northwest of Monument getting some spotty showers in the foothills, but nothing to show you right now. That certainly changes later on today. We are expecting a powerful spring storm to impact southern Colorado. It will usher in heavy rain along with strong severe storms even some mountain snow. Here's a look at what to expect at noon. By this time, we'll begin to develop some scattered storms in the lower elevations. 4 p.m., storms will only become more widespread. Into 6 p.m., my friends, you still see those showers and storms continuing for the lower elevations. This is going to be one of those storms where we have moisture continuing during the overnight hours and into your Tuesday morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms are expected into your Tuesday. This storm will finally start to loosen its grip on Wednesday. Not only will we be dealing with heavy rain for the lower elevations, there will be some snow for the high country locations between tonight and Tuesday evening. There could be some areas of slush within Woodland Park with two to five inches of snow expected once more starting tonight into Tuesday evening, early Wednesday. One to two feet expected atop America's mountain with nothing in the way of accumulation expected for the lower elevations. It'll be too warm in the lower terrain. We'll just be seeing heavy rain there. Into this afternoon, we'll see temperatures in the 40s for Colorado Springs, 60s mid-afternoon for Pueblo, low to mid-60s for the southeastern plains. Stay ahead of the storms by downloading our Storm Tracker 13 weather app. Of course, we're going to be uh, keeping you ahead of the storms on all platforms. Behind a cold front that drops tonight, tomorrow's temperatures will be in the mid-40s, 50s and 60s Wednesday and Thursday. In Pueblo, 64 for today, low 50s we drop for tomorrow, 70 degrees by Thursday, low to mid 80s Friday and Saturday. For Canyon City today, we will be at 63 degrees, dropping to 50 degrees tomorrow, 50s and 60s Wednesday and Thursday. Finally, for Teller County, 51 for today, low 40s we drop for tomorrow, upper 40s on Wednesday, 60s into Friday. So a very active time frame for us. We'll talk about your high temperatures again at 651. All right, thanks, Abby. In Nashville.